I cannot begin to explain to you how excited I am about today's video. And you know what? This is the number one reason why I started Rare Whiskey Wednesdays, because this here definitely deserves a spot at the Rare Whiskey table. No question. We've got single malt. Yes. We've got age statement. Yes. We got unique finishing and an award winning Irish whiskey. Get in. The stage is set. Let's drink some rare Irish whiskey. I'm the Whiskey Chaser Brian and welcome to Rare Whiskey Wednesdays, a show dedicated to drinking rare and exotic Irish whiskies and sharing it to the world. Coming direct from Chrissy's Bar in the heart of Kilkenny City, Ireland. I hope you're keeping well. That was a great intro. Now, it's a first for Rare Whiskey Wednesdays, which is not hard. We're still in our infancy here. Not a first for the channel, by the way. We have a standard playlist called Whiskey and Whiskey, which covers pretty much all of the releases of Irish whiskey, but a first for the rare whiskey side of things with an incredible age statement, which if you know anything about Irish whiskey is very, very hard to come by. We had a rough few years here in Ireland back in the early 1900s. We're slowly getting back on our feet. Now, one of the oldest Irish whiskies in the world, not the oldest, but it's certainly up there with the uh, best of them. They're limited release, I'm from one of my favorite distilleries on the island. This, folks, is the Teeling 28 year old single malt Irish whiskey. Now, some time ago, when I had more hair and patience, I did a video on the Teeling Black Pits release. Link up here. It's epic. And in that release, I went into the finer details of the Teeling distillery Jack and Stephen Teeling, their father, Dr. John Teeling, and of course, their illustrious history with the Cooley Distillery. Really briefly, and for those that don't know, Teeling Distillery was formed by Jack Teeling soon after his father, Dr. John Teeling, sold Cooley Distillery. Cooley being one of those distilleries that back in the 80s was responsible for the new revival of Irish whiskey at the time and was the first distillery to open in Ireland in a very, very long time. Eventually, the distillery was sold to Beam Suntory in 2011, and Dr. John Teeling began planning a new distillery called Great Northern Distillery, not far from Cooley. Uh, his son Jack went his own separate way with his other son, Stephen, who uh, followed shortly thereafter, and they opened the Teeling Distillery in the Dublin Liberties. So that's it, basically, in a nutshell. There's plenty more information out there, but for the sake of time, we're going to cut it there. Um, along with that sale, there obviously would have been some really old aged casks in the mix that the lads would have been able to get their hands on, right? Makes sense. One of these was a 24 year old single moth that was released in two batches between 2016 and 2017. They are both the same age liquid, just so people know, just bottled at different times. That whiskey itself won a number of awards and is a highly acclaimed Irish whiskey by whiskey fans of the country and of the world. Let's jump up to this release. A 28 year old single malt, obviously ex Cooley stock, matured for 20 years in bourbon and then further eight years in Sauternes or Sauternes wine casks. It is the same liquid that went into the Teeling 24 year old. It's the same thing. It's just age for another four years in Sauternes. Um, this is also award winning, I might add. Limited release, you know the crack. Now, I have said it before a number of times, it's a very rare thing seeing whiskies of this age statement and more being released in Ireland. Not a lot of people do it, not a lot of people are able to do it. And if they do, typically, it only comes really from one of three places, typically, Bushmills, Middleton, or Cooley. Bushmills, world famous, triple distilled, single malts, and they do some blends. Outstanding quality, firm favorite amongst whiskey drinkers. Middleton Distillery, do not produce single malts. Well, kind of. Uh, more predominantly pot still whiskies, blends or grain whiskies. They did a single malt under their Method and Madness range, but um, that didn't come from Middleton. Or I doubt it did. They don't do single malts. And then you have Cooley, third. Cooley do malt whiskies, double distilled, beautifulness in a glass, fruity, viscous, delicious. I am a total Cooley fanboy. Come to think of it, I am also a Teeling fanboy. 
I said it before, they do absolutely smashing releases. Was a big fan of the small batch release. That was what used to be one of my favorite whiskeys of all time. Did an awesome single grain release. They did an awesome 13 year old single grain release finish in Bordeaux wine casks, amongst many others. They really like to dabble with their casks. Great stuff. Right, enough talking. We drink, let's get this in the glass. Ridiculously weighted cork stopper thingy and we pour. Gonna let that breathe a little bit and while I do, just to give you a summation of this, right? So this bottle ran about 650 euros at the time of release and was limited to approximately, roughly 4,000 bottles. Double distilled single malt, matured for 20 years in bourbon, eight years in sauternes or sauternes casks, excuse me, bottled at 46% ABV, won the best single malt award at the World Whiskey Awards in 2021, and the icons of whiskey awards, awards, world's best single malt in 2021. Also, so, packing a lot of heat here. If I can get the words out of my mouth. Let's drink. Oh, stop, I almost forgot. Ah, little side note. This is minimally, ever so much peated single malt. Just a dab, nothing to worry about just very minimally, minimally peated. So you know, should have mentioned that earlier. It's fine. So, uh, giving it a chance to open up a little bit and breathe. Um, on the nose. Now, firstly and foremostly, this is not as orchard fruits forward as you would expect from Cooley, okay? There's a lot going on here. Um, so you should know that. Straight away, I'm getting a touch of hay right? But intertwined with a briny kind of saltiness to it. Um, there's a bit of smoke back there and then there is your orchard fruits. So think, you know, apples, pears, but on top of that, a little bit of smoke there still dancing ever so lightly on top. A little bit of peach. Now there's a nuttiness in there as well. Um, yes, there is definitely a nuttiness there. Lovely. Um, that peach note kind of coming through the more you kind of agitate the whiskey. It is complex. It is very complex. There's a lot going on there. A little bit of caramel. A little bit of spice. Yes, so think I'm getting the brininess, saltiness is coming through for me. Hey, uh, although not very strong on the hay, but it is there. Smoke, not peat, smoke, light, very light smoke. Orchard fruits, peach, what else did I say? Nuttiness, uh, yes, caramel. Complex, complex, complex. Lovely. Let's have a little sup. It's lunch. 28 year old teeming single mod. A little bit more of that smoke coming through. Very smooth though. That peach note stands out a little bit more. Um, the orchard fruits is light on that. Think baked, al baked almonds as well. The brininess carries through onto the palate. Um, it's not overly dry. There's honey, there's caramel. Another little sip, launch it. Smoke, not peat, really smashing. Milk chocolate. Nuttiness. The peat intertwines with the milk chocolate and leaves a beautiful note on the palate. Mm. That's really good. One more, one more. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, orchard fruits, nuttiness, milk chocolate, smoke, not peat. Um, it's woody, it's not dry. The finish. It's just keeps going long, sweet, not overly spicy, I wouldn't say, right? But luscious, rich, that smoke and that milk chocolate on the end there carries just lovely, still going, still have it there. A little bit of oak. Yeah, a little bit of bite there. Oh man. This whiskey is absolutely super. That's my thoughts. Absolutely 100% super Irish single malt whiskey right here. I love it. 
Absolutely love it. If I could afford it, I would buy a bottle. And if it was still available, I would buy a bottle. No questions. You can get these on auction from time to time. Don't know how much, didn't check it. But if I had the money, would definitely buy one of these bottles. And funnily enough, there is an older version of this on the market. I believe a 30 year old rendition of this. I'm not sure how much of it is the 28 year old or 24 year old um, is the, in the 30 year old, but I know there's a 30 year old out there and I think another 32 if I'm not if I'm mistaken now I'm not entirely sure I didn't check it but look hey I'm just going to put this out there if if if, if any of the folks in Teelings Jack Stephen um, Alex Rob any any of you want to send me down a little sample to you know for the show for the show of course you know I'll I'll, I'll happily um, you know see what, what what those other older luscious whiskeys of beautifulness are like it's no problem honestly honestly it's here in Christie's it is very much open with a ridiculously heavy cork stopper. Um, so if you do want to try it, it is here. I don't know for how much longer, but I mean, it is here. Oh my God, where did the bottle go? Uh, this is so embarrassing. It was here, it used to be here. All right, that's it, literally. That's all we got for you this week on Rare Irish Whiskey Wednesdays. So uh, hopefully more like this in the coming episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video informative and somewhat humorous and remember, to keep it Irish. Until next week, sláinte.